In this lesson, we're going to look at how you can view your true purchase history. This is different than the purchase list that's available in the iOS or Mac app stores. The purchase list is really just a list of all your app downloads, paid and free. It doesn't display any in-app purchases. In fact, you really can't view a list of your app purchases from either app store. On a Mac, we need to start in iTunes. Go to the account menu and view my account, then sign in. This is going to list all the apps that you've downloaded for free, all the paid apps that you've bought, along with any in-app purchases and subscriptions. It's also going to display iTunes purchases. Click the arrow to the left of each item to see the details of the purchase. Notice that I have a history here going all the way back to 2005. So this is truly a full purchase history for iTunes and the App Store. To view this information on an iOS device, we need to start in Safari and go to reportaproblem.apple.com. Sign in on this page and we get the same list that we just had in iTunes but laid out a little differently. If you're having a problem with an app or an in-app purchase, you can report that to Apple here and get help. Tap in the upper right to view these as receipts. From here you can see the details of each purchase. Next we're going to look at how to manage subscriptions, which can be done from the App Store apps. On iOS, scroll to the bottom of the Featured page and tap on your Apple ID. Once signed in, tap Subscriptions. Here you can view your active and expired subscriptions. My only active one currently is Apple Music. Tap on it and I could cancel the subscription. Canceling is only going to stop the subscription from recurring automatically. I signed up for a one-year Apple Music subscription, so if I tap Cancel now, I'm still going to have access to Apple Music until the subscription expires. When it does expire, I'll lose access to Apple Music right away. If I don't cancel, the subscription will renew automatically and charge me for another year. I won't lose access. If you're an All Access member with the Mac U, that subscription works the same way. Many subscriptions recur monthly like this NFL Red Zone Pass. If I tap on this, it's easy to resubscribe right here. To manage subscriptions from the Mac App Store, click the Account button, and under this Manage section is a link to Manage Subscriptions. Click here and we get the same list of subscriptions as we saw on iOS. Click the Edit buttons to cancel or resubscribe to an expired subscription. Next, we'll look at how to leave ratings and reviews for an app and how you can view your history of those as well.